Well, yes, I'd be a hero, and if my wish were granted, then life would be enchanted. It's good, so we say. Of course, I'd be a hero, and I would scale a tower to save my hot house flower and carry her away. A perfect happy ending That's how it would be I've hungered for your touch a long, lonely time, and time goes by so slowly. And time can do so much. Are you still mine? I need your love. I need your. That speed your love to me. I might be smart. My siblings can't believe that I got it right. That I got it right. Right! I didn't cheat. I saw this light and it was neat. I like to laugh, I like to spell, I like to never hear the bell. And if this competition's hell, at least I'm finally apart. I feel my heart begin to swell. I like limited buck. I love to spell. I like it a lot. There was a big Sesame Street live extravaganza over at Madison Square Garden today, and everyone decided to make a day of it and go straight from Sesame Street to Santa. We were packed, absolutely packed, and everyone was cranky. Once the line gets long, we break it up into four different lines because anyone in their right mind would leave if they knew it took over two hours to see Santa. Two hours! You could see a movie in two hours. People stand in line for two hours and they go over the edge. They begin to worry they're not living in a democratic nation. I was sent in the hallway to direct the second phase of the line. And everyone seemed to stop me with a question. Which way to the down escalator, the elevator, gift wrap, the women's bathroom, trimetry? And one woman, after asking me a dozen questions already asked... Which is the line for the women's restroom? I shouted that I thought it was the one with the women in it! She said, Oh! Oh! I'm going to have you fired! <laughs> I had two people say that to me today. I'm going to have you fired. <laughs> Go ahead. Be my guest. I'm the one wearing the green velvet costume! It doesn't get any worse than this! Who do these people think they are? Oh, I'm going to have you fired! I wanted to lean over and say, <laughs> I'm going to have you killed! Well, I was married to the late Deal Hollington the third. Perhaps you've heard of him? He was the owner of 
Do's do we do? <laughs> when we met, he promised me all the fame, fortune, and spotted dick I could eat. Oh, with custard. <laughs> Hmm, but apparently he didn't know my appetite. Anywho, one day, let me start over. Well, I was married to the late Dill Hollington the third. Perhaps you've heard of him. He was the owner of Dill's Doey Do. <laughs> when we met, he promised me all the fame, fortune, and spotted dick with custard I could eat. Well, apparently he didn't know my appetite. <laughs> but one day. I walk into the kitchen, there's Dill playing with his dough, like always, and he must have slipped on something, and he went flying straight into the oven. The oven door slammed shut behind him, and, well, I was going to help him, I was, but I just had my nails done, and I didn't want to ruin them, so, so I let them dry, let them dry. And then, as soon as they were dry, I rushed over, opened the oven door, but it was too late. Dill was baked. So I didn't want to be accused of anything, so I fled. I went straight to my cousin Guido, the gypsy. He got me a job at the local pub. One night I was telling Guido everything that happened. Apparently Lord Mansfield was sitting not too far away. He came up straight behind me and offered me a new position. It was the position of the upstairs maid. Normally I love new positions, so I said yes. He said that if I didn't move in right away... He would turn me over to the authorities, and I've been working here ever since at Lord Mansfield's. He's been holding that blackmail above my head. And normally, I love blackmails. George! Speak up, Mouse. Do you know what he is saying? He said... <laughs> A line. The Campbell's have peanut butter. Very good. Trixie. <laughs> Trixie. Ah, oh, you know those red and green cookies? <laughs> What's the letter? Yeah. With the sprinkles. Yeah. Yeah. Set the sword. Yes. <gasps> the Baxter's burnt all those. Oh. Oh.
Play all the magnificent stuff in the house. What's happening? Now get up there and fight.